Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Souling the Ark. I'm Flinger Fu, and today is the end of the series. That's right. I know, I know. It's it's been a long series. It'll be 204 episodes. That's what this episode is. 204. And I mean, it's not as much as season four was, but it's a lot of episodes. And wow. All right. So yeah. So today, what we're gonna be doing is. We're going to be going around and gathering up all the dinos that were just like the biggest... Oh, I need cryopods for this. We're going to be going around and grabbing up the dinos that, you know, were like the fan favorites and also my favorites as we were going through this. And I'm going to be uploading them and then moving them into uh, my upload terminal. So where eventually, at some point in time, we can pull them down and we'll have little bits, you know, of all the seasons. And Todd is the first one that's going with us. That's right, Todd. You're coming with us, man. You are going into the Hall of Fame, dude. You were awesome. You were amazing. And we're keeping you. All right. So you're coming with us. And then also, I know there's another one over here that I really, really want. Kopi, I'm sorry, you're not going to make it. Vanilla Latte is definitely going to make it. Um, and then also the one that we bred recently. Uh, let's see, Matcha is going to be uh, joining us. Kopi is good, and Kopi did great for us. But yeah, um, we're super snow puppy. We might have to just grab Wicked Snow Puppy. I'm not sure where. Oh, I left Super Snow Puppy up at the, uh, up at the boss fight area. Okay. All right. Well, hey, let's get up there and let's go grab Super Snow Puppy. You know, I have a wyvern in my pocket. This would probably be a lot easier with a wyvern. Just saying. Now, let's see. Hello. Hopefully, we don't overshoot. <laughs> All right. There we go. And Kiwi, you're coming with us as well. All right. Let's get up there. There you are. You were blown back. All right. Let's see. All right. So Super Snow Puppy's coming with us. You're going into the Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, your saddle can't go. All right. And then up here, these dinos, while they were great... um. They were actually kind of amazing, actually. But I don't think any of them deserve Hall of Fame. I mean, they did beat the King Titan. Well, actually, the uh, Mega Mech beat the King Titan. But there is one up here that I do want to find. Let's see, let's... Oh, wrong button. Apparently, you can't... Okay, so they're no longer following. But they are slowly landing. Okay, there's Lightning Wyvern. Where are the rest of you? Need to find one. Lucky day. Sandstorm. Where's Skelly Ned? I need Skelly Ned. He doesn't have a skeleton costume. There you are, buddy. You and I have been through thick and thin together, so you are coming with me. That's right, dude. Alright, I was gonna take Eclipse, but Skelly Ned is Skelly Ned, so he's coming with us. Alright, let's, uh, upload these guys and then move on to the next map. Oh, hey, I have Allosaurus. I thought all the Allosauruses died. Oh, hey, so we've got one that, li um, that lived over here. I wonder if I have any others that have been thrown down here. Alright, anyway... We're done with the extinction map. Uh, let's take one last look at uh, the base that we built because I really enjoyed the base. Um, I think there's a few things I could have done to it um, after, you know, I had uh, improved on it a little bit. But otherwise, I think it turned out just awesome. But yeah, I'm digging this base. This base... I've got some fond memories of this base. Uh, especially when we were going out we were getting... Uh, um, oh, what was it? Uh... Extinction Bob. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. There's just some things that just stick out in my head. And then also, he shoots the ladders. He was from way early in the series, right when we first came to uh, 
extinction. Now this right here, this was a new uh, area, but I love the water feature that we were able to incorporate back here. I thought that was really, really good. Um, uh, Baby Marla, you know what? You're also coming. Sorry. I just love Baby Marla. Baby Marla was a game changer when it came to gathering up everything. She was so good. Uh, Kona, you're going to stay here as well. Um, I'm sorry, but... Yeah, we've only got limited space. All right, let's go through here. All right, now let's go over and take a look at the upload. Well, actually, I have an upload terminal right back here. Actually, we're going to need this one over here. Because this one over here has a lot more real estate that we can use. I almost forgot Super Snow Puppy. He's coming with us. There you go. And I've got this cleared out. Oh, hold on, Tech Raptor. You can go. All right. All right, see you guys over there. All right, so over here on Aberration. Now, this base down here, I love the way this one turned out. This one took me quite a bit, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without Genesis because of the uh, platforms that we use, the ocean platforms, but they worked so well here. Oh my gosh. Um, it's like, I mean, I realized they were made for Genesis, but they were also made for Aberration because they just fit so well. Uh, the only problem was I ended up, and it's hard really to see, but I ended up having to paint all of this right here. See, this right here, this is the regular um, stone coloring, and this is it painted black. And that's the only way I could get it to stop shining so bad. And it's still really bright in here. That's the main problem with this base right here. It's just so bright. And oh my gosh, it just... This base, there's not a, a lot of things... A lot of, not a lot of times I'll talk about this on Soul of the Ark. But this base destroyed my FPS for recording. Oh my gosh. Absolutely annihilated it. There were some times I'm sitting here going, all right, how am I going to be able to get a full 60 out of this? Sometimes it was hard. But, yeah, I mean, there were times that you notice as I was going through the aberration sections of uh, this map that, uh, you know, certain graphics effects would be changed. And that was because I was having so many problems with FPS. It's like right now, even with an RTX 3090, I'm getting 53 FPS. Yeah. This base destroys FPS. <laughs> All right. So uh, one uh, dino that is coming with us. Actually, you know, Sp Spankhead, I think, I think. Actually, no, I'm not going to be able to ride you up. But Smeghead is coming with us. I like Smeghead. Smeghead is an absolute winner, and he's been with us for a long time. But after a while, I kind of just outgrew him. So um, we had to uh, just pretty much just park him up there. And I always felt bad. I always wanted to take Smeghead out. Because, you know, he was just such a good, uh, such a good tame. But, oh, let's throw you. I mean, I could take some of the glow pets, but I'm not sure um, any of them really qualify. I mean, there's some of the ones I did lean on, like Goat Fu. I absolutely led on, um, lent, uh, leaned on for a while, but, yeah. And Mutton Bait, Mutton Bait was good. We got him early on. And then, of course, we've got our Aberrant Perry up here. But, Spank Head's going. All right. So, hey, I will see you guys on the next map. All right, and then there's Crystal Isles. Now, Crystal Isles wasn't a story mode map, but, oh, it was so gorgeous. So I had to include it in Soling the Ark. And, oh, my gosh, this map, I loved this base. Absolutely love it. Um, It's such a good base. Oh, man, I just wish that the only thing I would have changed on this was... Adding a little bit so where we could go. I mean, I wanted to, and I was... I don't have my handy-dandy laser pointer with me right now. But um, adding a little down bit right here. Because underneath in this water, there's so much um, unused real estate. That I would like to have uh, put uh, a bit of stairs going down underneath. So where we also had a lower section. But up here, this spot is just amazing. I love it. And there's Perry. Hey. He's yelling at the otters again. And then we have all the feather lights in here. And then we got melon foo, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Then we've got this one feather light with the white 
and then green. Then we've got the micro uh, micro raptors, which I always wanted to do something with the micro raptors because they were really great, but I never did. Ah, maybe next time I'll get a micro raptor pack because those are just so much fun. Yeah, and then this up here we had our little dedicated breeding area. Ah, this is so good. And sorry about the little grain. Every time you, in solo, every time you uh, transfer onto a map and download yourself onto a new map, all of the uh, troughs get turned on automatically. It, it's just a thing that happens. But yeah, this area right here with the cherry blossom trees and everything up here on this floating island. I love this section. It is so good. Oh, yeah, but there's no no dinos that we're going to be using here. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, all the good dinos from this map I've already taken off and pulled off onto other maps. But I just wanted to come over here and then just be like, hey, I have fond memories of this map. And that tree, just gorgeous. I mean, every single day when you uh, log on and, you know, when you start recording... And every, just coming out here and seeing this tree always put me... I mean, if I wasn't already in a good mood, this tree always put me in an even better mood. It was just so good. These trees on this map are gorgeous. All right, and then we have Scorched Earth. Now, this space right here... Hold on, let's get through the loading animation. And the loud music. All right, here we go. Now, I love this base. This base turned out really, really good. I love the openness. I might have to turn down that music. I mean, I love the openness of this. And then we also have the silver foo, and then the holiday foo. Just the multicolored foos here are absolutely amazing. And then, of course, all the wyverns, they're gone because I moved them over to the wyvern fight. I'm over to the king titan fight. But we've got this one super dodo that we got that we just kind of just spotted him, and I never used him. And I always felt bad that I never used him. But, yeah. I mean, he's green... And it makes me want to keep him, but I'm not going to because, yeah. And then we got Little Sam. And then we have this right here. Now, this ramp right here, um, I did this in Season 4 um, when uh, I made a ramp that went up to the metal refinery area. And I wanted, I mean, I did this right here kind of as a test for myself, but also to show people that you can still do it in a uh, regular arc. Because back then, that was when, um, before they had made any changes to the uh, to the building. And it was all just absolutely 100% original building style. And you could build just a big giant ramp going up. But you had to have like these major pillar structures underneath um, that uh, provided support to connect to the foundations down below. But once you, on the new, um, on the new building... Now all you have to do is have one pillar that goes down that connects to the foundations down below and then whoop, go all the way down. So it's even better now that you can do it. it. It's really cool. And I did this kind of as a test, kind of as a just showing people how you can get it done. It's great. Now, Black Pearl and Who Needs Meg Megapithecus, I would save you, but the temptation would be just be too strong to get you. Apparently, there's a saber tooth on the other side. All right, good luck with that, dude. Good luck beating through the adobe. I mean, yeah, I would I would keep who needs Megapithecus because he can provide element dust. But, yeah, just the temptation to download him and use him would just be way too strong in a previous series. So, I don't think I'm going to keep him. But, yeah. And then this area out here. Ah, uh, this one right here. There, there's very few things I'll show people you know, when it comes to threading you know, bits of um, things going down. But this water pipe right here was just a nightmare. Oh, man. It was just horrible getting that. <laughs> but it goes all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. And I think uh, next time I might... Uh, on my next Scorched Earth base that I do, I, I think I might do uh, something that involves a little bit more of the cliffside. Yeah. I've already got ideas for the next season's uh, bases. So... All right, but yeah, nothing here is coming with us. Um, I would love to take the foos. I mean, I love the foos, but yeah, I think they'll be fine where they're at. They can live on. The save isn't going anywhere. It's just going into a file on my PC to be stored forever, just like season four is. Yep, season four. I still have it. It's still available on my hard drive. I'm going to save that thing forever. I've also got multiple backups on different things. All right, let's see. 
As long as the saber tooth doesn't come try to eat me while I'm uploading. We're fine. All right, see you guys over in the next one. Personality designed to be your guide. Just listen to me and you won't get yourself killed. Now this is one thing I won't miss. Every time you come to uh, Genesis, that's what you see. Oh, man. Welcome to the Genesis Simulation. Here you'll be tested across five biomes, each with its own dangers. Just stop, Helena. <laughs> I'll be with you Stop. every step of the way. Oh my god. This I'm really not gonna miss her. To All right. Uh, or you want to spend some of the hexagons you'll earn for complete missions. Yeah. Those missions are how the simulation tests you. <sighs> how you prove you're the ultimate survivor. First though, we have some exploring ahead of us. You know, sometimes there's just those Ready days. to go and walk about? Thanks, Elena. Alright, but yeah, this base right here, it never really reached its full potential. I had such plans for this, but um, taking and then going all the way up to the bit for uh, the metal way up top there. Oh, uh, because there's just so much metal. And then up there, we've also got uh, a Sam up there that is just harvesting metal whenever we need it. It turned out to be so handy. Oh, man, it was amazing. Yeah, and then also uh, in here, we have the Uteranuses and stuff but yeah it's a wide open base and i tried to make it kind of like the one on the island but it just never really reached its full potential because i never really did anything with it and that's really it i mean this is i mean i love this base it's just i i could have done so much more with it and then we had the uh um the vegetable garden up here which i love this this was just an amazing spot to put it um i think in my next one i might do something like this as well because this turned out to be so handy just having all the um, vegetables up there in the roof just out of the way because i don't even think about it being up here i mean on the island you know you have to go way out specifically to uh get stuff so right here you just come right out the base just boop right there and then it's all the vegetables are just up there plus also there's dung beetles up there everything that a growing arc survivor needs it is really good um but yeah i mean the uteranus is here and then also we had the allosaurus that we ended up breeding and then we took some of them up to uh had the overseer fight which was great all the uh x aloes they ended up dying the uh regular vanilla aloes they lived which was kind of surprising but yeah, and also, one thing that I've never really told anybody about this base. Alright, see this aloe that's hanging off the edge? Alright, uh, this aloe right here. Every time I transferred to this map, I mean, he started, like, right here, way back in the back. Every time I transferred to it, he would slowly get further and further. I'm out. And <laughs> I just... I just kept taking, keeping an eye on him and then seeing just how far he would go before he dropped. And that right there, that's how far he went before it ended. <laughs> There's just certain little bits of uh, each map that I, just, I never really included on camera. I never spoke about it. I would just wait for somebody to see it. And then comment on it. But a lot of times people just didn't comment on it. But, I mean, these are things I noticed. <laughs> All right, so none of these guys, they're actually going with us. Um, the ex Perry, and then there's the Knickers. The Knickers, we've had him for a long time. Um, ever since we first got to uh, um, Genesis. But, yeah, I mean, there's always um, new Genesis adventures coming up. Especially with the, uh, um, the new expansion coming out soon. All right, and here we are, the island. Oh, man, this... I, I've got little bases all up over everywhere. Here, let me show you here really quick. Fast travel. See all these little beds I've got dispersed all throughout the map? All of those have purpose. <laughs> um, I mean, we've got this one over by the swamp cave. We've got this one over by this cave. Another one by this cave. And then... Um, oh, we've got one over by the green ob. And then down here... Uh, that right there... Not sure what that one is. Oh no, that's the cave over here. And then we have the other cave up here. And then we've got the um, the little shack up here with the oh the spike walls around it, so where we can just leave whatever dino we took to get the trip over here, and then use another dino to go around and just uh, harvest up as much XP as we possibly could on there because Carno Island is so good at XP. Um, 
And then over here, we've got the Chitin Cave. And then right here, we've got the Volcano. And then over here, we've got the Cave of the Strong Bed. Yeah, it's just, I mean, everything here, I, I've spent so much time here. And I want to go take a look at this base over here, where it all started as well. Because, I mean, I love the island. Absolutely love the island. The island is my favorite map whatsoever. And you'll notice that after a while, um, I just took uh, a rainbow poop off of Wander. Um, <laughs> you remember? For a long time, I was having problems with him getting out of the... Uh, um, out of the base, and I, I eventually just turned him off Wander. Uh, let's see, show visible area, and then that's how you have to turn that one off. You have to click it twice. And then we have Butt Spud. Butt Spud is amazing. I mean, I would upload you, dude, but I've already got the original Butt Spud, and I, I would, I hate to say that what is it? Oh, the Velanosaurs are attacking. Okay. Uh, good luck with that, Demorphodon. All right, uh, I mean, I would love to say that uh, Butt Spud, I mean, this Butt Spud get up, gets uploaded, but I have the original one there. And, yeah. All right, and then, oh, we got Meander. I ended up putting uh, the skin on him. This new skin, I never really showed it on camera, and I, I kind of regret doing that because this is such a lovely skin. This is great. I'm digging it. Uh, Big Bertha, you are coming with us. Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's go with this. Oh, an Ace Cappuccino. You're coming too, dude. All right, uh, let me grab a couple of these cryopods. Uh, you're coming too. Uh, I'm going to be filling up uh, a few of the things for the island because all my favorites on the island are here. <laughs> all my favorites on the maps for the most part. All the ones I wanted to keep, they're, they're here. All right, so Ace. Ace, what did you have in here? Probably just fish meat, huh? Yeah. All right, he had his own little stock of fish meat. Um, and then Big Bertha, you're coming. Actually, you know, I can just... I don't know why I'm picking you guys up. I can just take you right over here. Put you guys down. And then Melon. Oh, I want to take Melon, but we've got Kiwi. Kiwi is just better than Melon. We've got Super Dodo 2. And then we've got the... We've got Tammy. Holy crap. Um, and then uh, there's the original Bertha. And then we've got Big Bertha. And then Ginger. Oh, Ginger. Oh, it's such a hard one to uh, leave you behind. But I think I am... Then we got these dudes for the uh, ghosts. And then Granite. Granite is an amazing rock drake. I love Granite. Let's see, we've got Al Pacino. He's up there. He's he's doing really great. Let's see. And this rock. Oh, my, oh. my beehive died. Oh, how did my beehive die? See, this is what happens when you're too busy doing the boss fights. You don't pay attention to your beehives. They die on you. Well, that's the thing that happened. All right, and then we've got Shooty Not Bob, and then we've got our Griffin. I never really wanted to include the Griffin too much in the series because Griffins, they're they are on just the uh, modded maps that are eventually added in. They're not story mode dinos. So everybody, I mean, a lot of times people are like, hey, you know what, let's take, um, why don't you use the Griffin more often? So that's, that's because of it. It's because they're not uh, story mode dinos. And we've got that one out there. Hey, let's go over to the other side, because I know there's a bunch. Where's Vanilla Latte? I'm looking for Vanilla Latte. Where? Do you guys see a Vanilla Latte? I might have left her inside one of these. No, she's not in one of these. Hmm. Yeah, that this is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to find Vanilla Latte and upload her. I don't want her to miss the uh, train as we head out. Yeah, and then over here, oh my gosh, we've got so many different things. I mean, I ended up taming this pack of aloes, but they just never ended up reaching their full potential. So I ended up having to go get new ones to uh, breed, and oh my gosh. I mean, they were amazing. Right, and then, but this base, I love this base. This base is so good. Oh, man. <laughs> and then Sandy Beaver, oh, yeah. Ah, so many days going out here just on the edge, just clear-cutting all these um, trees over here. Oh, man. And then once we ended up getting uh, Marla, whoo, 
Yeah, and then uh, the original Smeghead from the series, and then we got Snickers and Baby Ruth. These guys were great, but Vanilla Latte was just the clear winner of all the dinos out of everything I wrote on the entire series. Vanilla Latte is definitely coming with us. And then the original Burt. Oh my gosh. All these guys, oh, they have got so many memories. Uh, and then Sprite, and then Queenie, and then Extra Crispy Recipe. Oh man. Oh, so many different things. And then, um, oh, this, let's go out and let's get a flyby of this base, because just looking at this base, it's absolutely gorgeous. What, wrong button? I mean, I, I love the way this base turned out. It wasn't a one episode um, one. Oh, and where's Super Dodo? And then another thing, a lot of times, People never really notice, but I never really included it on camera. This ladder has always been the bane of my existence. Some days it worked, some days it didn't. And when I wanted to get up into my flyers, there were sometimes I'd just be in the middle of recording. I wouldn't even think about if it see right now it's not working. Alright, um there would be some days in the middle of recording, I'd have to re-record certain bits because the ladder just wouldn't come up. And then there's only, you know, there's only 10, 15 times while you're recording that it's funny. <laughs> you know? And then after a while, you're just like, just let me on the roof already. And yeah. Oh, and then we got Psylocke. We got Scorch Super Dodo. There's my Super Dodo. All right. None of the um, fancy stuff. Just the original Super Dodo. Yeah, hold on, where's the saddle? I need a saddle for you. If not, oh, I think all the saddles are... I, I cannibalized them to uh, put on the army. Okay, well... We've got cryopods for that. Come on, dude. Oh, Vanilla Latte might be over at the... Over at the Red Obelisk. Oh, we'll go take a look. No Latte has always been one of those dinos where I'll log in and I forget why I left her. Um, that's why some days I'll just be like, uh, today we're going without Vanilla Latte. It's because I forgot where she was. <laughs> um, I mean, it's because she's so easy to get lost. I mean, some days it was just better to t not take her because I didn't want to lose her. But some days it's just I didn't know where she was. All right, so let's upload you guys while I'm thinking about it. Creatures. All right, Big Bertha, you're going. Super Dodo, you're going. Ace Cappuccino, you're going. Wow, we're really filling that up. All right, uh, let's see. Um, oh, we had one here. Uh, we have a Wyvern right here. You know what? Let's take Melon around and then let's go um, take a look at the other base We're on the other side. We're going to need some water. Alright, let's go take a look at the other base. Also, the Red Obelisk. Although, I have a feeling that uh, Vanilla Latte might be on Extinction. Alright, no, not here. All right, let's go over to the other base where the entire series began. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun at this base and it's not that far away, but it's such a good spot to start and there's foos everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Ah, oh, man. And then one of my favorite memories was taming right here. I, I think it was a trike that we were taming in the middle of the night while at the... Um, Oh, the Halloween event was going on. It was amazing. I had so much fun with that. Taking the screenshots of that. It was great. But yeah, this right here. This was the original base. Such a small little thing. And then the trikes. Lloyd and Harry. Oh my gosh. These two. Oh, there's something just wrong with their melons the entire time. That's right, melon. Yeah. Something was just wrong with their heads the entire time. Oh, man, and then, <laughs> oh, I had so much fun taming these guys. I got hoarded in the butt a couple times. It was great. Oh, man, and then coming in here to this base, and we got the original Super Duper Pooper, and then the plants here. They died a long time ago, but, oh, man, I had so much fun at this base. Oh, and I never did. 
Oh, we've got seven beer in there and I never took advantage of that. I made it and I had intentions for it, but I never did it. Oh man, I will totally have to do that in the next one. And I tell myself that every season that, you know, I have to do that the next season. All right, but hey, I'm gonna scour the other maps. I have to find Vanilla Latte before we uh, uh, close this up. But yeah, I've got something planned for the end um, as we uh, go through and take a look at some of the images that happened during the season. Oh, so many fond memories. I had so much fun with this season. Oh, man. All right, I found her. She was on extinction. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Iguanodon. That's what you get, man. Velonosaurs are mean. All right, and then we got the tech rexes out here. Um, yeah. Kind of doing their thing. But man, oh jeez. Yeah, this is the last time I'll write for all I know, all sentimental and everything like that. I promised myself I wouldn't get super sentimental. But, you know, the last ride on Vanilla Latte. Oh man. Me and this Styla, we've been through a lot in the last um, two years. It's really cool. And I realize that she's just digital. You know, she's just a, a thing in a game. But, you know, you kind of get a really big attachment to certain things. And Vanilla Latte is that thing. I mean, I was expecting it to be Super Dodo, but no, nah, totally Vanilla Latte. I mean, and yeah, and then she ended up having this saddle that we ended up getting. It was so great. I loved it. Vanilla Latte is just amazing. <sighs> all right, girl. Okay, so, all right, she's going to get uh, uploaded, but I think that's probably going to do it. Wow. It's been almost two years. For this season that's really good yeah all right well hey i'm gonna upload her even though she's green now i never intended for that i mean she ended up getting uh bleached in the middle of the series and it was such a weird thing because they were doing stuff they were changing the uh, uh the color profiles of dinos so she ended up um she wasn't brown she looked like snickers at the very beginning and then she ended up getting bleached to a lighter color and then they tried to change it back, you know, uh, not specifically her, it's just by way of the dino, that they uh, changed it. And then the new color, she came out with this weird green color. It always looked like some sort of, you know, baby food green. I wouldn't say baby poop green, but baby food green. But, I mean, still vanilla latte. It's my favorite uh, um, way of drinking coffee. It's amazing. All right, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and not just the video, the entire series. I had so much fun doing it, so many good memories. But yeah, hey, if you haven't already, give me a like, right? I really appreciate that. Um, if you're new around here, subscribe and uh, hey, see everybody in season six. Isn't that right, Vanilla Latte? I have a feeling you might live on in season six. All right, take it easy, everybody. Right, and up you go, girl. Rex can come out. Ah, so many memories. Ah, oh, that's great. Yeah, have fun here, Rex. Oh, oh, one thing I forgot. Ah, oh, I always forget. When you put things in, you can uh, use a macro to get them in. When you pull things out, you have to individually click on each individual one. Yeah, all this stuff is coming out minus a few chibis because, I mean, how fair would that be to start up a new series with all this overpowered stuff in here? No. You gotta find new stuff.
only thing staying in here is my favorite chibis from the season. All right, take it easy, everybody. Wrong button. <laughs>